Welcome to Geometry. We're going to be talking about understanding points, lines, and planes. This is Lesson 1.1. A point names a location, has no size, and is labeled with a capital letter. So that would be point A. A line is a straight path that has no thickness and extends forever. It's labeled with a lowercase letter, like this lowercase l, so this is line L, or by two points on the line. So this would be line AB. We could even say it's line BA. It doesn't matter. It's got arrows pointing in both directions. And we can write an AB with an, a line with arrows on both sides, see, to say line AB or BA. A plane is a flat surface that has no thickness and extends forever. It's labeled by a script capital letter, so this would be plane R, okay, I don't know if you can see my capital letter there, or three points not on a line. So here we have A, B, and C inside the plane. So we could say that's plane A, B, C, and it doesn't matter what order we put them in. We could put them in any order. Points, lines, and planes are undefined terms. They're basic figures in geometry that aren't defined in terms of other figures. Points that lie on the same line are collinear. Points A, B, and C are collinear. They're all on this blue line. But points A, B, and D are non-collinear. See, D is not on the line. Points that lie in the same plane are coplanar. Points A, B, and C are coplanar. Points A and D are non-coplanar. See? We can even have a triangular-shaped plane. Here we have P, Q, R, and S. They're coplanar points. They lie in the same plane. A segment or line segment is the part of a line consisting of two points and all the points between them. So this would be line segment AD and see how it's just a straight line up here? We don't have the arrows on them like we did when we did the notation for line AB, it had arrows on both sides. Now we just have a straight bar, and that tells us it's a line segment. So it starts at A and ends with D, or we could say it starts with D and ends with A, so it's line segment DA. An endpoint is a point at one end of a segment or the starting point of a ray, and they're labeled with a capital letter. A ray is part of a line that starts at an endpoint and extends forever in one direction. Starts at an endpoint and extends forever in one direction. So it's got an endpoint and then an arrow at the other end, see? And it's labeled by its endpoints and any other point on the ray. So this is ray AB. It starts with A, so it's AB. This one starts at the endpoint E, so it's ray EC, see? And it's got an arrow on one side of the bar above the letters, see, to tell us it's a ray. Opposite rays are two rays that have a common endpoint and form a line. And they're labeled by the common endpoint and any other point on each ray. So here we have a ray AB. Here's the endpoint, and it's going this way. And it's connected to this endpoint A and C going in that direction. So it's almost like we have two separate rays, but they're connected at A in the middle, see? So we have ray AB and ray AC. They have A as a common endpoint. A postulate is a statement that is accepted as true without proof. They're also called axioms. So postulates for points, lines, and planes, we've got these three postulates. And if you look at how they're numbered, this is chapter one, Lesson 1, Postulate 1. That's why it's 1.1.1. And the next one is Chapter 1, Postulate, uh, or Lesson 1, Postulate 2. And this is Postulate 3. See? That's why they're labeled this way. So the first one says, through any two points, there is exactly one line. Through any two points, there's one line. And the second one says, through any three non-collinear points, there's exactly one plane containing them. And the last one says, if two points lie in a plane, then the line containing those points lies in the plane. A system of equations is a set of two or more equations containing two or more of the same variables. We learned about systems of equations in Algebra 1, didn't we? 
and the coordinates of the solution of the system satisfies all equations in the system. These coordinates also locate the point where all the graphs of the equations in the system intersect. And I'll show you. An intersection is a set of all points that have two or more figures that two or more figures have in common. So here's some postulates for intersections of lines and planes. If two lines intersect, then they intersect in exactly one point. That makes sense, doesn't it? And if two planes intersect, then they intersect in exactly one line. So if two planes are intersecting, they intersect at one line. See? We use a dashed line to show the hidden parts of a figure that we draw. The dashed line will indicate the part of the figure that isn't seen. So this line intersects plane R, but doesn't lie in the plane. So it's sort of going through the center like that. See? These two planes intersect in one line. And see how the dashed line is showing this lime green plane? Kind of like through the white plane, see? This one is showing that it's underneath this plane, see? Here we have line AB intersects two non-intersecting planes. So these two planes are not touching each other, but line AB is going through them and intersecting them, see? At points A and B. We could also have written this as, let's see if my marker works, a, B, like that, right? We could have said line A, B, okay? Sorry, my marker's drawing out. Here we have three coplanar lines intersect in three different points. So these three lines are all in the same plane, they're coplanar, and they're intersecting in three different points, here, here, and here. Here we have plane M contains two lines that intersect at S. This is plane M, and the two lines intersect at S. Here we have line AB intersects plane P at S. So here's line AB. We've got our dash line showing. This is really underneath this part, right? Here's plane P, and it's intersecting the plane at point S. See? Here we have a ray with endpoint A that passes through B. So here's endpoint A, and the ray is going through the point B. See? So if we have line AB, then it is written like this with arrows on each side. If it's ray AB, it's just got one arrow. And if it's line segment AB, then it's just got this bar. Okay? Now, a good idea would be to get a notebook to write all the postulates, axioms, theorems, and definitions. You'll be glad you did this when we start doing proofs because you're going to need all of these at your fingertips to do a proof. And writing them will help you learn them too. So you can get yourself a simple notebook and put all your postulates, theorems, axioms, and definitions in it, okay? You could even get a spiral that has sections and make one section for theorems, another section for postulates, and another section for definitions, okay? But we're going to have a lot of these, and you're going to want to have them at your fingertips, okay? So here's the vocabulary words that were in this lesson, and each lesson is going to have a lot of vocabulary words. We need to completely understand and learn the meanings of these words and understand the postulates, okay? That's going to help you immensely. Our next lesson is measuring and constructing segments. It's going to be lesson 1.2. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you're doing well. And I hope you understood this. If you did, hit the like button so I know. And I'll see you next time. Keep trying. Bye.